David Wagon, 10 Minute Daily Reality Check. I slacked off this week, holiday week. Wasn't wanting to deal with podcasts. That's the reality. Didn't feel very creative. Didn't feel like talking. Kind of went inward and had a really wonderful week. I have something to say today for all of you that like to carry around your luggage. It's time to leave the airport plain luggage behind. I want you to be really honest and upfront with yourself today, and I want you to ask yourself, how much do you love yourself? How much do you like yourself? And I don't want you to just say, well, I like myself this way, and I love myself that way, but I don't like myself this way. I want you to be honest with yourself today. Because how can someone else like you if you don't like you? It's not possible. Let's say you're in a relationship and someone really likes you a lot, right? They like you. They like who you are. But you don't like who you are on certain levels. So they can't fully like you either because until you fully like yourself, they can't fully like you. It's not possible. And we can go even deeper into it. Until you fully love yourself, how can someone else fully love you? If they already love you, they love you. But if you don't love you on certain levels, they're still going to love you, but they can't fully love you. You can't fully love somebody who doesn't fully love themselves. They'll love you exactly the way you love you. They'll love the parts of you that you love. They'll admire the parts of you that you love. They'll enjoy the parts of you that you love. And they'll equally struggle with the parts of you that you do not love. It works that way. It works that way in every single relationship, whether it's a like-like relationship, a love-love relationship. It works that way. Why? Because you can't expect somebody to fully love you when you don't fully love yourself. And if you continually drag the suitcase around full of your past, full of your fears, full of your excuses, then you're never going to fully let go. So you have to ask yourself, why are you holding on to the things that hold you back? I don't care how much you spent on that designer stowaway bag or that designer luggage but why are you holding on to the things that continually hold you back that is something you need to look at immediately right now today in your life why are you holding on and ask yourself if you're holding on to these things what is it doing and how are they serving you How are all these things serving you? Some people do it as a mechanism to keep other people out. Some people do it because they truly don't have the work ethic to get past their stuff. Some people just would rather continue to live in their excuses and not really push themselves past the fear. Other people don't want to work that hard at it. There's a lot of reasons why. And there are are a lot of people that really want to work really hard at it but yet they still find themselves stuck at this. So there's still a level where you get stuck because no matter what you do and how you do it, you'll hit a level, you'll hit a plateau, you'll get stuck and you'll need to go fight through that next level. The only way to get to the next level is to continue to fight through each and every level because you're never fully there. To fully love yourself every single day, you're going to have internal battles on a regular basis. You just can't say to yourself, well, I fully love myself, I'm done. Self-help and work on yourself is a lifelong practice. And that's how you need to look at it. You can't ever look at somebody and go, I'm almost there. No, you're not. Because when you almost get there, there's going to be another place you need to go. So you're telling yourself the wrong thing. You're looking at at this whole process as I'm fixing it. And then once it's fixed, I'll be there. When in turn, you're never there. Because every level you get to has a new challenge. And every challenge that comes up on every single level 
is a way for you to grow to get there because there doesn't exist. There is just in your mind to make you feel like you're going to get there. When in reality, if you forget about there and you say to yourself, I am on the path to fully liking myself, fully loving myself so someone else can fully like me and fully love me. And when I get to that point where I fully love myself, I'm going to continue to work on the challenges that come up. And when these challenges come up, they won't feel as, 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 as claustrophobic or they won't feel as, as overwhelming because you've gotten so far. But shit will always come up. Don't kid yourself at all. Shit's always going to come up no matter what you do, no matter where you're at. Loving yourself is a full-on daily practice. Liking yourself is a full-on daily practice. But once you've got a handle of it and you're able to let go of that suitcase you've been dragging around since childhood, the suitcase that your mom gave you, your dad gave you, once you get rid of that suitcase, then when things come up on a regular basis, you'll be able to handle it because you are practicing free will. You're no longer working on the program, the program that's in your suitcase. You're now practicing free will. So you're not there because there's no such thing as there. But where you are is a place that you can peacefully work on things based on your conscious decisions, based on who you are, what you are, and where you are. That's how you get there. Realizing that there never exists. And realizing that once you get rid of the suitcase that you continually carry around, that's when the fun work actually happens. Because that's when little things come up and you're able to, through all the work that you've done and all the conscious choices, you're able to actually act and love yourself deeper. Because you want to fall in love with yourself deeper every day so your partner can fall in love with you deeper every single day. You want to fall in like with yourself even more. So friends, acquaintances can fall deeper in like with you every day. Falling deeper in like with yourself every single day is a process that all of you need to embrace. But the first thing you need to do is get rid of that suitcase you've been dragging around. Time to send it to American Airlines. Time to send it to the airplane. Let them lose it on the luggage carousel. They're really good at losing the things that we want Maybe they can lose the things you don't want. Have a great weekend.